right? What we're seeing in COVID-19 is something called silent hypoxia, which is a silent, and we don't know exactly why this is happening. Normally, when you have low oxygen levels or when you have a pneumonia that's causing low oxygen levels and high carbon dioxide, you start breathing more and you feel really awful and you, you, you feel that tightness, tightness in your chest. And, but with COVID-19, it seems to be affecting the oxygen levels without affecting the carbon dioxide. So we don't get that feeling of, oh my God, I have to breathe more. People are in fact breathing more heavily, but it's sort of an unconscious thing until they get so low that they crash. So the, the doctor who actually know, I know that doctor pretty well, um, Dr. Levitan, who wrote the article in the, New York, in the New York Times, he's suggesting that pulse oxes may be something that if you're sick with COVID, you get one of these and monitor your oxygen level. Is that you've seen these, is a device that fits on your finger. And what it does is it measures your heart rate. I'm sorry, there we go. Your heart rate and your oxygen level. Let's see where I am. Oops, this way. There we go. So I am 97% saturated with a 68 or now it's wiggling, but 68 heart rate, right? And that little thing going up and down over there is my heart rate. Okay, so um, now I'm moving it, so it's gonna go all over the place, but that's a normal pulse oximetry level. Um, he's suggesting that this is certainly a cheap enough device. It's about, I think if you go to uh, Walgreens, it's about 30 bucks. Um, you know, measuring that would, some, it's not a bad idea um, to, to follow it. There's lots of issues with pulse oxes. You have to make sure you have a good tracing, you can't use it with nail polish. Um, but for home monitoring, if you're sick and you want to keep an eye on your oxygen level, it's probably not a bad idea. 